Morning, Dom. Morning, Rick. Morning, Dom. Morning, you lot. You're watching the Two Fuels. Uh, Zoom lockdown edition three now. This is. Um, oh, yeah, it is. It's three, isn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Three. Cool. I'll tell you what, you're like kind of rap gangster or something. I can't do that, Dom. Uh, ah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, here we are. Um, UK, still in lockdown. It's getting a bit tedious. But anyway, we're not going to go there because that's all we ever do. Hi, how are you? Uh, pretty crap, really. Uh, how are you? <laughs> pretty crap, really. Away we go. So, um, we're not going to do that. We are obviously stuck at our respective homes for now, although this may change in the future, Dom. Yeah, I think it might, because yeah. we are technically working, because we do earn money off this. So, but... this is this is our job. Yeah. Uh, that's just for Mrs. Charleston, by the way. This is our job. My, it's my, it's, it is my job, to be fair. work so. this. Well, it's, yeah, my it own, it's, it's my only job I can do at the moment. <laughs> but anyway, we started waffling too much. So we're going to um, we're going to do as we did a couple of weeks ago. We're going to go and have a look at um, another one of the road trips that we did with Slap Adventures. Uh, this time it's our um, ultimate high Swiss Alps edition. This one was called. This was back in September two thousand nineteen. This is the last time we did a road trip before um, coronavirus came along and whipped the carpet out from underneath everyone's feet. Is this the um, is this the, the tasty cow edition? This is the Tasty Cow edition, which you'll um, you'll see. So this is from uh, you know, one of our entrants. We had a bit of a, uh, a multinational kind of uh, attendees on this trip. So uh, the usual crowd from England. We had uh, Martin and Cathy from Scotland. And then we had Thomas and Edward, collectively known as Tedward, uh, from, Belgium, Belgium? from Belgium. Um, and then we had um, a few Americans come. We had uh, Kev and uh, Avocado, Justine, his daughter. Yeah. Uh, they've come on a few trips now. And then Justine's friend, Rachel, which you will see the Tasty Cow edition as you get through the video. Um, and, and, there, and there are septics. Sorry? Septic tanks, yanks. This is, Dom, this is Dom's uh, northern rhyming slang that no one's <laughs> no one's aware of but, but Dom, so... Don likes his northern rhyming slang. So, Don, let's um, let's have a look at the video. This is one of our trips that took us out predominantly to Switzerland. Although we did touch on um, a bit of Italy, um, we did have a little bit of Germany tucked in there as well. Yeah, it was nice to be fair. So we, we've been out um, we've been out to Swiss Alps several times now. Um, we got a bit of snow actually this year, didn't we? In this September year we went in. It was pretty weird because we had a, a, a period of time where there was no snow and then we had that enormous dump of snow, obviously. Obviously. Um, obviously. And then it sort of cleared up and then of course we had this, but it wasn't as bad as the uh, previous trip a few years ago where it was quite... That was substantial snow. September's normally a pretty good time of year to go, and, and this yeah. kind of proved it as well in the fact that, yeah, it was, it was chilly and snowy, but we had a great time. The roads were pretty clear. Well, that was a good bit of fun going up there, Dom. I remember in your GT3, you were in your GT3, as in my M140, and we went up the yeah. um, Splugin Pass, which is one of the craziest passes I've been up with all the switchbacks and tunnels and various bits, and we had a great little blast through there with the um, exhaust valves open. You can go up there and make some noise without annoying people as well. There's no one to really annoy up there in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you're pretty much in the middle of nowhere, aren't you? To it is like literally properly. It's, it's not a well known pass. I don't think it really goes anywhere. It's definitely a, a local yokel pass as opposed to a, a proper let's get over the side of the mountain pass. So it becomes quite a nice area to go and visit. Yeah, I mean, the, the flip side to that is, as you can see, the footage in here now is, is Stelvio. So this kind of this is a ticket off your list kind of mountain. I've done it several times now, and it, and it can be fun, but it's generally a bit of a pain in the arse, but it is a ticket off your list mountain to get to. Now, we, um, we had a bit of a misfortunate thing in the fact that the snow closed one side of it, and there was a rock slide down the other side of it, so we actually approached it from the Umbrail Pass, which was really good fun coming up there. Um, and that took us up to, took us up to the top, and we was down the, the twisty bit and back up the twisty bit. But, um, yeah, it's not the best road to drive, is it, Don? Unless you're there early in the morning. 
when there's no traffic. Well, I think the other problem you've got is that half the corners in the GT3, which I don't class it as a particularly low car, it's quite low, obviously, with what it is, but it's not, it's not stupid. You had to put lift on to get around the corners. Now, lift goes off in the GT3 at 40 mile an hour, um, but it's so time intensive as regards of round corners, stop, slow down, round corners, lift, lift up, go, put the lift back down here. There's no flow to it. It's definitely a, a box ticking exercise. I think when Top Gear did the the thing that they did on Stelvio, everybody went, wow, 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 look at that. And I think visually it looks brilliant, but the actual thrill of driving it is quickly diminished when you sort of go, it's a bit. It is. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna drive it, my tip is, if you're gonna drive it, get there early, drive up the zigzag section with all the hairpins, so you need to be going up that, because it's no fun coming down it on the brakes all the time. Drive up that, and then when you get over the other side, heading towards Lavinio, it's a much more open, wider road to be driving down there. You can have some fun driving down there, but yeah, there, there are better, much better roads to be going on. But it's a ticket off your list. Make sure you stop at the top and eat some sausage as well, actually, by the way. Highly recommend it. Yeah, the sausages are really good. Oh, there we go, there we go. There's the, um, got the cow section. How tasty does that baby cow look? <laughs> And there's also, we're looking at this here now, yeah, so we, had, we actually had, a, we had quite a few road closed on this trip, so we ended up inadvertently taking a ferry under quite a lot of stressful situation. But the road we were taking around whichever lake it was, do you remember, is that the one? Is that the one moment that Brett actually called something yeah, yeah. correctly? Yeah, yeah, okay. so we... Um, so there was, a, there was a road closed around the lake, everybody sat there was going a bit crazy. Donald put his hand up telling us that Waze was the best thing on earth and told us all this and we should have paid attention to it because he's, he's king. But anyway, we got stuck and nobody could quite navigate the way round. So Brett, uh, Brett who's a, a regular on our trips, he was in, uh, he was in the RS3 on this trip I think, wasn't he? With his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was the RS3, so... Um, he, he decided to opt off the road route and look at a ferry that would take us across the lake. So he very kindly did that, um, got on the ferry and then phoned us to say, I'm on a ferry, you should come down here as well. Uh, so we got stuck an hour behind him, but fortunately we, we arrived just in time to have lunch at the lake. And then... That was, that, was actually, that was a nice little... I mean, I know it could have gone badly wrong, but it didn't. It went it could have done, really, really well. Really it was almost like one of those real life Top Gear events where Brett got down there and he was like, well, I found a way. I don't care about you guys. I'll tell you once we've got going and then you can deal with it, yeah? Yeah, it did, it did really sort of like, you know, I'm not waiting for you. Screw you all. I'm, I'm off. Which is third place for me, you know what I mean? Well, Brett was with his brother Andrew and from what I've been reading up, that's the Australian way. Just think about yourself. Don't worry about anybody else. <laughs> no? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, very good. So, um, so yeah, we had um, we had a good crowd on that and then we, then we finished off this trip um, up through Germany to the Nürburgring. Um, yeah. Where you took the GT3 out, Don? Yeah, we did a few laps in the GT3 with uh, Rachel and. Uh, took Edward out, I didn't think, did you? Edward out, yeah, and took Jordan out and had a minor moment in the uh, in the GT3. But it was a very minor moment. I thought it was like a tremendous moment, but apparently, God is a Jordan. It's only stopped me in a tart, nothing really happened, but there we go. But it was, it was a good trip out, really. So I'll say we, we sort of did that through, uh, down through Germany, into the um, Swiss Alps, some really great hotels in the Swiss Alps, um, and then up through up through Germany and culminating at the at the Nürburgring. Um, it was a good week. If you, do, if you do get a chance to go to the ring, again, it's another one of those places where I think that, in, in my view, I'd say, I'd say it's a safer place to go than driving through the Alps. One, there's nobody coming the other way. You don't have to look for police. You don't have to worry about Swiss police, which are by far and away the most aggressive police in the world, uh, as far as motors are concerned. But it's a yeah, but we, have, we, had, have we had any grief off the Swiss police in the past three or four years? Not really. Uh, well, not now. It's good for, I suppose, if you don't drive like a dick, I suppose you're... If you, 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 you behave, yourself, yeah, behave yourself in the towns and have fun in the mountains, I yeah. know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, maybe. But as I say, as a place to go and visit, I think the ring is a, a brilliant place. So I've been five, six, seven times, and I think it's, uh, I don't know, it's magical. For, for certainly for people to drive cars around, and you can drive as slow as you want. There's no sort of like time limit. It's 25 euros. Is that your, is that your excuse then, Dom, yeah? 
It's not my excuse. It's certainly an excuse that Darren uses enough and all that for a fact. Oh yeah, we had Darren. So we had Darren and his RS six. Yeah. Um, QE two. Yeah. Do you know what though? It's a fairly fast car, isn't it? It's a, we- it's a weapon. It's not two words of art. It's an absolute weapon. Those RS sixes, especially here, because it was mapped by Litchfield. I think probably the seven hundred and fifty brake, and it was like, yeah. I think the only thing that was the only problem he had was was brakes, was which was you know, but I mean it's with him in it and and. And the rest of the luggage, it's, you know, it's a two-ton car bumping down an alp, and brakes are going to struggle. So, and I, I, do remember I, think it was, I think it was day two of that trip when we were going over the Maloha Pass, and it was the first time uh, Thomas and Edward they were in a AMG GT. Yeah, AMG GT, nice car. Um, and so they're from Belgium, and I think that was the first time they would sort of realise that oh, we are driving fast now, and uh, <laughs> and the RS6 <laughs> kind of set off. You were behind it in the GT3, and everyone was like, oh. And they were like, oh, okay, and all of a sudden just disappeared. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, uh, well, to be fair, I think it took, um, I think it took Ed without any GT3, and I think it sort of opened his eyes as regards to the, the differences between a, 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 an AMG GT car, you know, not holding the GTI to the same group, but a, and a Porsche GT, as regards to the difference in how they move and, and the feeling that you get of them is obviously totally different, but I think he mm. was quite, he was quite impressed. No, we also, I forgot on that trip as well, we also managed to blag our way into the Hockenheim ring, didn't we? Do you remember? Or we did, or, or, or Thomas did, shall we say. Oh, Thomas, Thomas did, didn't he? Yeah. So we kind of turned up at the uh, turned up at the Hockenheim ring just to go and have a bit of a coffee and, uh, and have a nosy nap. I think there was GT testing going on, wasn't there? Yeah, there was, there was GT, GT testing GT going on, so we, we went into a into, into a hotel for a bit of a coffee and, and uh, Thomas very kindly um, bridged the gap of language barrier that we were ignorant English people, don't speak any other languages, and he spoke fluent everything. And uh, the guy went, yeah, yeah, just come through with us and go out this door, and off you go. And all of a sudden we're in sort of like in there and having to wander around at everything. And then Thomas went, yeah, these guys will let us into the pits. We can have a look at the cars doing a... And we all sort of it, was, yeah, it was a real sort of like, it was a good moment, weren't it? It was a nice sort of place to go for three or four hours and wander around and, uh, yeah, look at proper race cars, to be fair. And that's the joy of a road trip, really. You go out, obviously, we've got everything planned. That's what the job is of Slap Adventures. We, we plan all the road trips, but there's got to be some fluidity in there and uh, see what happens along the way. So, yeah, it was a good trip. Good word. Hey? Eh? Good, good word. I like that word. Yeah, yeah, you can that one, yeah. yeah there's too many, too many vowels in it for me, but there we go. So, uh, so yeah, that was a good trip, Dom. It was. It was, it was the last one. Uh, it was the last one that we did, unfortunately. I guess we, we can wrap things up with. If you enjoyed the video and Dom and I having a little bit of a chat of nonsense, make sure you uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We're doing pretty well with subscribers, Dom, but we could. Yeah, we can do a few more. You know, yeah. I was doing a few more. A few more. So the share the channel with your friends. It'd be appreciated. Help us out. Thank you. And uh, we'll be back in a say a week, ten days time with another video for you. Thanks for watching. See you later.
Fucking delicious. I can be 